Hi everyone, it's me Darlene, in my car, in my own town, in my Hannaford parking lot. What that all boils down to is that I'm home. I'm back from my Memphis trip. Got in late last night, but actually earlier than expected. I was expecting to get home around 2 a.m., but I was home at 1.30-ish, and uh, so that was good. As soon as I got home, I unpacked my computer and keyboard, and because I have a keyboard. I, I can't use a laptop keyboard, and nor can I use the touchpad, so I have to have a keyboard and a mouse. When I used to travel a long time ago, I would bring my entire computer. This is when we had the big monitors and the tower. I would take the hard drive out of the tower. I figured out how to do that so I could keep that with me in case they lost my computer. But I used to bring them <laughs> back it in boxes. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm home and I'm anxious to get back to business as usual. I had to run out to get a few things. Milk, mainly. I was going to go to Roger's just for milk. And I thought, well, my mother will need bread soon, so I'll get some bread. So I came to Hannaford, and I ended up buying all kinds of things. So I will uh, let you know in a second. But first, yes, the shorter hair. There are some crooked things going on now that I can see it better at home, like with the mirror. I'm leaving it. I like it as is. It's uh, short. Oh, my God. I could even go shorter. I just, I'm starting to, like, love short hair. And uh, the bangs, I didn't have to trim them at all. I don't know. I, I just get lucky with Skylar, or either that, she knows what she's doing. So I was very happy to have my hair cut. It just feels so out of my face. I love it. We did a lot of things together that didn't get recorded. I, you know, it's, it's hard to find the time to edit videos. And I don't like to come home with a bunch of videos and then edit after the fact. Once I'm back home. I want to just go back into work mode and not have to be, you know, still like wrapping things up from my trip. And I did want to mention that some of you noticed that my hair was longer in the trivia, even though that video was out after the hair video. And that's just because I recorded the trivia night before haircut day. They just got uploaded in the wrong order because when Skylar cut my hair on Friday, I wanted that video to go out. I had not edited and uploaded trivia night yet. And I just wanted the hair one up because in case I didn't have time, that was like, I thought the more important one. So that's why, that's all, is just a continuity issue, a flick flub. So like I said, I came in here to pick up milk, which we need, and a bread. I ended up getting all this stuff for my mother. Since I'm here, I'm in the habit of buying her like a bulk donut, you know, in the door, the things that you open and you grab a donut, or a muffin, but lately I've been buying her one of each. So she got one donut, one muffin. Oh, speaking of muffins, Skylar and I did make the pancake muffins, and I wanted to mention that if you've made those, and if you find that the paper sticks, because I'm finding that the paper, you know, muffin liners are sticking to those. First of all, I froze a bunch of those with the liner on them. My mother said that when she warms that, she lets it thaw first. I usually give it to her the night before and two. She likes two. And she lets them thaw. And then she said that when she heats them in the microwave, the paper comes off nice and clean. So that's one thing. But uh, they stuck when I did them with Skylar. And I don't know if it might have something to do with the actual kind of paper cups that you use, the muffin tin things or whatever, the liners that you use or not. But with Skylar, the first batch, we didn't have the liners, so we made them in the pan, and I just sprayed them with no-stick spray. And, yeah, you know, you just have to loosen a little bit with the knife, but they came out great. The second batch, I picked up liners, and they really stuck. And I, you know, I lost, like, half the bottom stuck to those muffin cups. So I suggest if you make those skip the liners, just spray your pans or use a no-stick spray, or, I don't know, try different liners if you really want to do liners. So, that's that. 
Okay, so what else did we get? But yeah, Skylar and I did all kinds of things. We were busy the whole time I was there. My favorite roast beef in the world was on sale for $6.99 per pound. Normally, I think $8.99. So that was a good sale price. And I haven't had any in a long time. So I treated myself to two pounds. One was $7.23, one was $6.82. Got my mother her... Huh? Did I get two breads? I don't remember doing that. I must have two Italian breads. I do have room in the freezer. And then a thing of English muffins. And I got us some whole milk, which was $3.73. Everybody's fascinated by the price of milk here in Maine. I got... What's that? Just says meat, five ninety. dollars What would that be? I guess that must have been one of my top round roasts. But the other ones say top round. They had top round on sale. They for. Is it two forty nine per pound or two eighty nine? I can't even remember. But I also get a two percent, uh, like uh, rebate here at Hannaford now. So I picked up all the ones that I could find that were two forty nine per pound, and they only had five. Why is that one so expensive? Oh my God! I gotta go look at them now. Hang on, they're in the back seat. I just happened to pick up one big ass roast. The others are smaller and one was huge. So, oh yeah, uh, yeah, they are $2.49 per pound. That's awesome. Okay, I got myself a thing of bologna and a thing of salami, only $1.99 per pound for each of those. Got my mother a couple bananas, only paid 30 cents for two bananas, and a green cabbage because she loves coleslaw. And I'm going to cook some of the cabbage and I will cook it and like, you know, parboil it and freeze some so she can have that when I make her like soups or stews and she loves cooked cabbage. Even just cooked cabbage on her plate, she likes that. Got her a couple of apples, a couple of tomatoes, and a bag of oranges. That's it. That's what I got. So I am going to be back to business as usual. I know that either today or tomorrow I will have the YouTube earnings update for the final time, but... Before you send me hate, for those of you who love that series that I've been doing for two years now, and I said I was going to stop that series, it dawned on me on the plane. I'm trying to get my ASMR channel up and running to be monetized. That channel, Sounds and Whispers ASMR, I believe I started that about three years ago, and I uploaded to it for about a year, and then I just stopped. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the microphone, so I stopped, and I always wanted to start it back up. I finally did. I got a microphone. However, when I started it back up in January, it was in February that YouTube changed the requirements, so I am like starting from scratch with that channel at the time that I rejuvenated it and brought it back to life. I had like a hundred and maybe 160, something like that, subscribers. I need a thousand subscribers. And I didn't have anywhere near the 4,000 hours of watch time. And so I thought, why don't I do a new YouTube series where it's not the same information each time? I still might do it twice a month. And I can just talk about how that's working, how the um, ASMR channel is going, and also I can show you what the monetization process is like because I will eventually be monetized. I'm working my butt off on that channel and I will get enough subscribers. I'm up to over 650 I think right now. So, you know, a thousand is not too far away. My watch time, I'm averaging about 500, maybe 550 um, hours of watch time per month. So I'm thinking in about three months I could be there and then we can find out together how long the monetization process takes. Will I indeed be accepted? You know, just all that stuff. So I have something new to talk about, which is exciting to me because the whole reason I didn't want to do the YouTube earnings update anymore like I was doing is because after two years it was just getting old for me. It was the same old, same old, and I was tired of it. So we have something new to talk about. I can also maybe 
check out some stats of my static channels, what I call static channels, channels that I've had for a while that I haven't uploaded to in a long time. For instance, like my Darlene's Crafty Crew and my Growing Up Crazy. Who, I don't even know if that one's still monetized or not. I haven't even checked. When you have a bunch of channels, the money all goes into your one Google AdSense pot. If I don't go to each individual channel and see how much each one earned, I don't know how much each one earned. I have to go into each individual channel and check that. So I always only ever know what my main channel, my Darlene Misho channel has earned. But it all goes into one pot. And, uh, you know, the AdSense rule is still the same. You have to earn at least $100 before they will pay you out. But it rolls over. So we can look at some of those older channels maybe and just see and... You know, and if I find something that's working particularly good, I can share that with you guys. I do have a lot of things that I'd like to mention about my ASMR channel that would give you guys ideas for videos that don't even have to have anything to do with ASMR. So I'm excited about this. Can you tell? I have renewed interest in doing these kinds of updates. I also could talk to you guys about how Patreon works. For those of you who have channels and they're not monetized, and you don't think you'll ever reach those requirements, or maybe you have a real popular channel that is monetized and you'd still like to know more about Patreon. Maybe you're a little bit curious. I think I could share some good tips on how to be successful on Patreon. So I could talk about that a little bit, let you guys know, you know, the inside of Patreon, what it's like, what I like, what I don't like. I, so I can, you know, talk about things like that, give you tips on, again, how to be successful on Patreon and how to not apologize for being on Patreon. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes people make is they're like, you know, afraid to promote that. And, you know, it's all part of your job, everything you're doing out there online. You deserve to make money in any way you can. So I'd like to give pep talks about that and whatever. So I'm going to do the final regular YouTube update either today or tomorrow. And in there, I will talk about the new series and then we could start that maybe mid-month. I don't know. Maybe I'll knock out another one in a couple days and start that new series now. Who knows? The other thing is I am so anxious to get some kind of clothing racks. Ooh, I'm going to go by and see if that store is open still in our mill section. There used to be a store that sold um, used office supplies and all kinds of things. They just buy equipment from businesses that close. That's where I got the desks that I still have. I just love those desks. And I was wondering if they had clothes racks. I need some kind of clothes rack so I can hang all the upcycled fashioned clothing that people sent to me, the peanut gallery members sent to me. Please don't send me any because I have more than enough. I want to continue with that series, and the only reason I ever stopped is because I lost motivation because the clothing got put upstairs, and I can't see it, and it doesn't make me feel like, you know, being creative. You know, I, I just need to be seeing that clothing, and I will be able to do a lot more projects that way. Not only upcycled fashions, but I will do other ways to refashion that clothing, maybe like tote bags, pet beds, things like that. Also want to turn some of that clothing into various quilts. I just want to see what we can come up with, but I need the clothing hanging. I don't even want it like folded on shelves. First of all, I have no shelf. So hopefully I can find some kind of racks, preferably on wheels, so I can move those out of the way and uh, very anxious to get started back up with that. Of course, there will be still some more quilting. You guys mentioned the last time I did a chat for you guys, just sitting at my computer like I used to do. A lot of you mentioned you do like those videos so that makes me feel good that I don't always have to be creating something so I can just sit and chat with you guys not always in my car and uh, so that's good so see what a vacation does for me it makes me want to work my ass off when I get back home I'm always filled with new ideas thanks to plane rides because that's what I love to do on the plane is think business and all is going to be good on the home front. I guess that's all I want to tell you for right now. I'm actually going to head over to that store. Maybe I'll continue this car vlog there. Let's go see. I'm home now, but I didn't sign off. So I want to let you know that I did stop by the surplus place. 
It used to be called RC Enterprises. I remember that now. Anyway, I happened to catch the owner outside, and he said it's all online now. So he gave me his card. It's Surplus Online, Surplus Business Assets, and it's just uh, www.buy-used.net in case you want to check it out. If you're local to Sanford, I don't know what they do for delivery, if they do any at all. But he said he has no, like, hanging clothes rack type things. But he told me to check out Wilson's in Wells. Wells, Maine. I'm in Maine. So I will check that out. I will just, you know, look online and see if they have a way for me to look online or give them a call and see what they have. But if I can buy, you know, some surplus items, that's what I would like. Because I really need some kind of heavy-duty clothes racks. It's a lot of clothes, and, and I've purchased the kind of clothes racks before for my sewing business that you can get like at Walmart or whatever, and they don't last too long if you've got a lot of weight on them. So I just wanted to say bye to you guys. I will have another video soon. I don't know if I'll have another one tonight. I may work on the, um, the last earnings update if I can and spit that out as soon as it's ready, but, uh, just want to let you know that I'm going to be overloading you with videos. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm getting close to 50,000. Well, I say close. For, I think I'm getting close to 47,000 or 46,000. I don't know. But we're in the running to hit 50,000. So let's get that peanut gallery up to 50K. Maybe I'll do a giveaway when we hit that. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.